Hi, this is Dave. Today I want to talk about the Chinese opening, the classical variation of the Chinese opening, and White's invasion. Let's add a little context. So, White usually approaches here, Black jumps, and this move, this slide, was popular in from the late 90s uh, to the early 10s of this century. A possible continuation for Black is to continue with building his uh, Chinese opening formation and this forces White to invade here. Black is going to attack that stone to make territory on the lower side and the upper right. So Black plays here. White attaches to settle his group. Black blocks White pulls back, black moves into the corner to deny white getting eye space there. White uh, continues to make eye space to settle his group. Um, black plays this move to continue harassing white's group and this also has the advantage of strengthening the lower side for black. White plays here to continue making uh, eye space and prevent getting sealed in by black. Black pushes here to get this peep. White needs to play here to expand his eye space. Black blocks, uh, white pulls back. Black connects and white connects. So this used to be a Joseki. And I think it's still uh, being played, at least by uh, amateurs. But this was also played by pros in the late 90s and the nillies. This is what Black hopes to get with his Chinese opening. And AlphaGo agrees that this is quite okay for Black. Black is on 50% win rate and this is move 28. That's kind of uh, difficult uh, for Black to get to 50% on move 28. Usually by this time Black's win rate has gone down to uh, about 43%. But uh, AlphaGo likes this, and uh, well, Black has Sente, and the lower side is fairly solid. Black has a gap at A, but Black has Sente, this is, this is quite okay. But AlphaGo thinks both players made some mistakes. So let's go back a little bit. There are some minor mistakes made by White, but I'm not going to uh, focus too much on them. Only the bigger, most important uh, mistakes. So, okay. Uh, let's go back a little bit here this move this is uh, this is the Joseki move if you've played uh, this opening uh, you would just expect this move but uh, AlphaGo doesn't like it here you see black is at 45% but AlphaGo thinks white should play here this attachment black swing rate dropped to 41% I think this is quite a surprising move, but of course we know that uh, AlphaGo has this tendency to play attachments to settle his groups. And it thinks in this case it works for White. I haven't found this in Walteri's database. As far as I know, pros haven't played this. But AlphaGo shows this attachment in many variations. It doesn't play this move. It thinks this is White's move. And 41% win rate for Black is definitely not okay for Black. So I would say that this attachment is AlphaGo's refutation of the Chinese opening. Because of this move, it doesn't really work, according to AlphaGo, the Chinese opening. So how does it continue? Well, as this happens very often with this kind of attachment, uh, Black Hanes and White counter Hanes. In this case, AlphaGo thinks Black should Hane on top and White counter, counter Hanes. Black connects. And with this move, White is already settled. Uh, Black plays some forcing moves. And this is what AlphaGo thinks it should happen. So White is alive and Black is left with two gaps on the lower side at A and B. And white 
has a decent territory and black has less territory compared to the what used to be more or less uh, Joseki. Here black is much more solid and uh, black has more territory than here. So 41% this is not really good for black anymore. Let's go back a little further. This move I'm not sure to what extent this move is the best move according to professional players. I played it here for argument's sake, but AlphaGo thinks black shouldn't play there. AlphaGo thinks it's not the right time for black to play at A because black's win rate will drop to 41% when white knows about the attachment at B, so A doesn't really work. AlphaGo thinks Black should just respond in the corner. 3-3 three, three here. And Black's win rate goes up to 48%. Compared to this, this is 44% and will eventually drop to 41%. But this move, 48%. Why does this move work so well for Black? Well, AlphaGo thinks White will continue with this move. Usually, White plays two, two space extension, this one. Also in pro games you can find this move. But it has a drawback. Black has forcing moves uh, here and maybe here even. So I think this is what AlphaGo doesn't like. For example if black plays here, white plays there, then black has these, these moves to build the right side. I think AlphaGo doesn't really like it, so it plays here. Then it foresees that black makes one space uh, corner enclosure. And now AlphaGo still feels that white does not have the time to play here. White would like to, but AlphaGo thinks white needs to play here. Needs to reinforce the upper side to defend uh, these three stones. And then white black has the time to take the position on the lower side. So the exchange, the marked exchange with the triangles will result in white needing to take Gote another time. One more time. It's already Gote, but AlphaGo thinks white needs to defend once more. So it's Gote twice. The cause of this is the slide. So what should white do then instead of the slide? this slide. Well, AlphaGo thinks um, white should immediately jump into the corner. This is 4% uh, better for white than the slide. AlphaGo likes it but also pros. A few years before AlphaGo started to prefer this 3-3 uh, invasion over the slide. But I think it became a little bit more popular after AlphaGo but it was not really new I think a new invention from AlphaGo um, but maybe it doesn't change all that much black blocks uh, and white tries to connect and now black has uh, two options or three options black can play at uh, A or B or Tanuki play somewhere else um, maybe here I don't know a used to be played by professionals, but uh, AlphaGo uh, popularized B. So black blocks. AlphaGo thinks uh, that this will be center for black. Uh, white connects, and now black is center. AlphaGo thinks this is okay for black to exchange these center moves. Playing it doesn't really change the win rates much. So now black has center, and black can still continue building his uh, his Chinese formation. And now white is forced to approach in the lower right to uh, reduce it, allowing black to play at Q5 here is too good for black. So white approaches, black attacks the white group and builds up the lower side, harasses white a little bit, and white continues to settle this group, similar to uh, 
the previous uh, variation. And still AlphaGo thinks white should play here. Again, this refutes the Chinese opening, according to AlphaGo. Black can play on top. And this continues uh, similar to the previous variation. Black now plays here because it uh, takes more secure territory. And white plays here. And it's, just, it's more or less the same. White is saddled and black is left with two gaps on the lower side at A and B. And this is a 38% win rate for black. So it's even worse. The difference is of course that white is more secure in the upper right here. This group is more secure for a white so black has sent it but there are less options left for black as to how to use his center. Less options than this. This is better for black because he still has the option to play here and attack at white. This is a little bit different. Black has a cut here. It's not in the database, but I suppose that uh, black can play here. But it doesn't worry uh, white. I think white will just squeeze black perhaps like this I don't know which is basically very similar to this so this is good for white says AlphaGo because of this attachment it is just uh, it works very nicely for white so AlphaGo thinks it's better for black to try and avoid this so instead of uh, playing here, Black could try another move. Um, AlphaGo thinks this is a little bit better for Black, but AlphaGo still is able to, to settle this group quite nicely. Peeps here threatens to uh, take the corner territory and live there, and then jump out lightly. Uh, Black denies White a move here to settle his group, or rather a move, I think a move here. Still, this uh, attachment looks like it would work nicely, so black denies it. And then white plays this stylish move to make ice shape. Black more or less seals a white in, and white lives in the corner. 40% win rate for black, so it's a little bit better than, uh, than this. This was 38% win rate. 40% win rate. It's, 40 it's a little bit better, but still, black has many gaps. I marked them here. Black has three gaps, and white is already alive. And black cannot complete his uh, formation with one move. I think that explains why AlphaGo doesn't really like this for black. There's too many loose ends for black. So, this move is a little bit better than this move but not much better, 2% better. AlphaGo suggests another improvement for, like an earlier improvement. Instead of this move, this move works better for black. It still continues very similar. White invades here. And white attaches here. It's white's secret weapon. Um, this time AlphaGo thinks uh, black shoot Hane on the other side. This peep strengthens white shape a little bit and then this completes this variation. This is 42% win rate for black on move 33. It's not great for black but it's still better than this I think the reason is that black has a lot of solid uh, territory and there's only one gap here at A. But here this, this black territory is very solid and also this is very solid. So it, AlphaGo seems to think that this is about the best that black can get from the Chinese formation. If white knows about the attachment, this attachment triangle stone. 42%. Hmm.
not okay. If you like this for black, then maybe you can still uh, play the Chinese opening. So, what to remember? In this case, attach here with white, and white quickly settles his group, leaving black with gaps. For black, it may be best to avoid it by not playing this to uh, develop the Chinese formation, but this move. It's a little bit tighter. Black will have a more solid position after white invades. And this will be the expected result if both players play their best moves. Okay, thank you and see you next time. Bye.